What is the number one excuse that people have for not starting or completing their goals? You don't have enough money. See, there's a quote that says, I have no money, no resources, no hope, and I'm the happiest man in the world. To me, that's a selfish statement because you're living for your own happiness. See, I believe that without the proper resources, cash flow, income, how can you help anyone else? Better yet, help yourself. See, not only am I going to teach you why you don't have enough money today, but also some really basic steps on getting more. My name is Cody Mills. Thank you for joining me for a few minutes in the morning to change your income and your life. Zig Ziglar says it best. He said, money isn't everything, but it's pretty close to oxygen on the gotta have it scale. See, look, I'm not a billionaire, well, yet, but the decisions and the money I've made have led me to live a pretty decent life. I own a little bit of real estate. I help children in third world countries. And, and I use my free time to help build a brand. See, at 26, I still have a lot of room to grow. But you should listen to me about money, not because I'm rich, but because my desire isn't for the love of money, it's for the love of a mission. Two things, time and creativity. If you think you're managing time well, you'll find out quickly that you're wrong. See, every time I think I've got a grasp on time, it's like Mike Tyson says, you, you get a game plan and, and you have it all together until you get punched in the mouth. If you don't meet with time every morning, he will not be your friend. Look at your schedule and pick out a few hours that you can do something creative. That leads to our big question. What could I do with an extra one or two hours, maybe on my off day, that would provide a little more income to help me accomplish my goals? See, when we look at the life of Abraham, a very simple man who was wealthy, right? He invested a little bit into livestock, a little bit into real estate, but the Bible says that he was very wealthy and blessed. He built up enough resources so that when God told him to go, he was able. More importantly, Abraham was favored by God. Do you have favor on your life? Do you have a relationship, a personal relationship with your heavenly father? The Lord wants to give you a big purpose this morning and a reason for waking up. If, if that's you and, and, and you don't have to raise your hand or, or, or make a big quote and, and put some comments on the board, but if that's you, as simple as ABC. A, accept that Jesus is Lord. B, believe that he died on the cross. And C, confess that Lord, that Jesus is Lord. So let me know if you made that, if you made that, that decision this morning. Send me a brief message. But remember the big question. What can I do in one to two hours on your day off that will create more income to accomplish your goals? Again, this is Cody. Like, share, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys soon.